Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. Today I have a very nice casino tutorial video for you and as you can see in the background, it's a flag. So today it's all about flags and of course it can be any flag, it can be like flag of the United States, it can be flag of United Kingdom or Australia or Germany or whatever and for the video tutorial afterwards I will uh, build a German flag casino and yeah, try to like uh, represent here the uh, American flag. And what we can win here are some creeper heads. They're stored here in the ceiling. And uh, this casino is basically rendered into three sections. So we have the top two lights on each side, which is the first section, then the middle two lamps, which is the uh, middle section, and then the bottom two lamps, which is the third section. And if we throw in a diamond here in this casino, yeah, we were so unlucky, nothing happened. Come on, how unlucky can I be for the tutorial? Give me something, yeah. <laughs> now the bottom and the top row um, basically lit up. Yeah, so nothing again happened. So you can have also like, oh, yeah, of, now we won. <laughs> nice, so um, this video will consist out of two parts. So the first part, I will give you a short explanation of how the, the casino tech works in behind. So it's not uh, that complicated actually. And in the second part, I will give you a block by block tutorial how to build this casino in your own world. It doesn't matter if it's single player or server. Um, if redstone is allowed, you can build it. It's not that difficult. And yeah, it's also completely customizable. You can choose any flag you want. You can also build multiple casinos with multiple prices or different prices. Here I just uh, got a creeper head. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice item. But if you have uh, a chandelier, what is this, uh, trident? You can easily get those uh, charged creepers and therefore if, if creeper farm get more of those heads so it's not that uh, valuable but you could also use like netherite or another uh, item so if we throw in here a diamond nothing happens again so i'm very unlucky today uh, what it does it basically is a very simple item filter here if we put in one diamond we can see the casino activates and our profits will be stored in this chest here and as the signal travels it gets um, extended here so we have here a simple signal extender uh, or pulse extender so if we press this button here the button signal is extended for some time so we can't spam the casino so if we throw in multiple diamonds um, it wouldn't, wouldn't work so you can't really cheat during the play of this casino we also have this additional safety feature with this piston which uh, basically prevents us from paying more so if we throw in our diamond here it just covers everything up so you can't play it again until it uh, retracts and then we basically have here the uh, odds calculation system where we calculate everything so we have the first dropper set to 50 percent and that's because the stone sword here is an unstackable item and here is a stackable item so it's uh, basically 50 percent chance uh, signal strength of one 50 percent chance signal strength of two and uh, what, it, what this repeater does is if we have the signal strength of 2, so if the stone sword gets moved up to the dropper very quickly, we basically get the positive output and the bottom row lights up. Same for the second uh, dropper, but here we have only a 33% chance and the same uh, is for the last dropper. And here we have two non-stackable uh, two stackable items and one stackable and one non-stackable item. So. Um, and that's basically a 33% chance to get a signal strength of 2. And if we multiply all those chances, so basically 50% by 0.33 by 0.33, we end up with a total chance of winning of 4, ah, sorry, 5.4%. So that's our odds of winning. So in the uh, beginning scene or in the starting scene of this video tutorial, um, I basically won it and it's very unlikely actually, so it's only 5%. So every like 20 try or every 20 diamonds, uh, usually you get one uh, creeper head. And yeah, then this green contraption is only to yeah, basically get a signal upwards. And here are also three different note blocks with three different tones. So we have this kind of emerald block beneath, we have this sand beneath and this uh, andesite. And if all those three here is an end gate, if all those three torches um, are deactivated, so basically if we have a signal strength of two for all those three droppers, only then we can activate the brown line, which is uh, the line to give us the creeper head and yeah that's basically all the redstone tech behind it so it's not that complicated as promised so let's try it one more time yeah so now we got only the middle row 
but basically we just win if all those uh, three rows light up at the same time. And yeah, um, I hope you liked the explanation part. So now we will head on to the building part and we will see you in a second. So welcome to the block by block tutorial and to start we need a 17 by 10 platform doesn't matter which material it is, it's just the floor. And yeah, it doesn't have that uh, like spacey, it's just um, to get a little bit more room here for yourself to see everything. And that's why I chose it to be uh, 10 wide. Uh, but you need a 17. So first of all, you will count one, two, three blocks from the left, place in one, two, three, four, five, six redstone lamps. Then count four blocks from the right and one, two, three, four, five, six redstone lamps here. So that would end up with eight blocks in between. And this time we go with the German flag theme. So it's black for the bottom. It's red for the middle. And then it's the gold or yellow for the top. So that's basically the German flag here. And if you're German and uh, watch this video, you will completely laugh at me now because I totally forgot it's uh, black, red, gold, but it's of course not from bottom to top. <laughs> so I will actually leave this in the video just to see a little bit uh, people get face palmed <laughs> in front of their screens. Of course it's black, red, gold, and not, not uh, gold, red, black. So here's the German flag and what we do now is we grab ourselves some smooth quartz. Just start here at this block, just block up to the top. Do the same thing on the other side but leave one gap. Then go with some quartz stairs. Again, some smooth quartz here, quartz stairs, and they should all look like this. So we have a little bit of decoration here. Again, some smooth quartz, quartz stairs, and of course you can do the decoration part on your own. Doesn't really matter, here normal quartz blocks. Then we have this smooth quartz block here, we have um, the other smooth quartz blocks there. And then we simply have block of quartz here, and I will speed things a little bit up and just set it to quartz. So that's basically our walls. No, not zero, should be that. Right, so uh, other, then we can do the ceiling part. So for the ceiling, we just say, here's our first block. And here's our second block. Just set everything to quartz. Nice, so that's basically our ceiling. And uh, just to finish it a little bit uh, more up, we grab ourselves some sea lanterns and some iron trapdoors. And what we can do now is simply put in here a little bit of lighting. Like this, doesn't really matter how you do it, it's just uh, to get a little bit of light down there. If you're building that, for example, underground or in a cave. And then we can also display some banners here, just for decoration. Like this. And of course, our creeper heads. So we know what we can win here in this casino. So that's basically everything done. And now we want to place in our payment system. So we grab ourselves an item frame. And we want to pay in diamonds. You can also choose the, uh, choose the currency here. And then we want to grab some hoppers and simply remove those two blocks here. Oh, sorry, not this one, <laughs> just this block and place two hoppers against those blocks and then grab a birch trapdoor just to make everything look nice. So um, then we can also put in the dropper here where all the winning items or the main prizes get dispensed. So in our case, that's creeper heads. So I will put them in now. And then we have to move to the back of the casino and replace this. Um... Oh, we don't have to replace it actually. So we can simply put in here a chest and really make sure that both of those droppers are facing to the left and not somewhere else, not into each other. So then I will grab some light blue wool um, and some redstone components and simply put in two blocks like this, compare it to redstone, then block one block down another redstone dust, repeater facing in that direction, um, block of wool, and then a redstone torch here. Nice. So um, what it does now is we have here a basic item filter. So if you put anything in the, in, the upper in the upper hopper, nothing will happen, except 
if we exceed 18 items here, so the 19th one will get transferred to the bottom hopper and if we put in another diamond it will get transferred into our profits chest. So that's where all our profits will be stored. And then we can also put in a sticky piston facing uh, towards the casino wall and I just chose a chisel quartz block here to make everything look nice. And the next step we can also set a repeater to 4 ticks and grab ourselves some purple wool. Like this. And we simply put in a pulse extender circuit here. It's not that hard, it's just um, two pieces of redstone. Uh, comparator facing this direction, comparator facing the other direction. And we can also replace this redstone with another block. Simply block up one. Uh, block and then grab some yellow wool and now we have basically the circuit for our piston uh, completed and of course here is a redstone torch on top and not uh, something else so this piston shouldn't spit out the block so just remove it again so what we can do now is if we throw in a diamond we can see that the um, slot will get covered and it will be retracted after some time and now we want to place um, everything for the casino wall in the back. So just grab yourself some other wool colors. And what you want to do is place in here on the like um, on the bottom of those two row modules. We just place a block, a redstone torch and a block on top. And what it does is if you go to the front of the casino, it just lights everything up. We repeat the process for the other side. So on the lower end, just the blocks and then some uh, blocks on top. And then we simply um, put this kind of alternating pattern here. And then we put in some redstone repeaters facing into the blocks with torches and redstone in between like this. So that's basically uh, now we can separately um, power every row. And yeah, I can also stay still here for a second so you can like pause the video and build it by yourself. And what we can do now is simply go forward like this, place here a redstone torch to invert the signal and do it like that. So the last row should be off now, as you can see here, or the bottom row. And we simply put in a repeater here to uh, where we can repeat the signal afterwards. So next, just one block space. Here another one block space. Repeaters, um, we can run them directly into blocks with some torches on top. And then simply connect up the second row. And we can do the same for the third row. So now everything should be off if you look at it from the front. And next up we want to grab ourselves some more purple wool. And go one, two, one, two, one, two, and the third block. On the third block, we place a comparator, two blocks of uh, two uh, pieces of redstone in between, redstone torch on the second uh, block, basically. And then we want to grab ourselves some more droppers and some more hoppers. Where are the hoppers here? Droppers facing upwards, hoppers into those droppers, and then simply. Uh, composter on top so nobody can mess with your odds and nobody can destroy uh, the chances of winning. So stone swords, where are they? Yeah, I don't know why I always use stone swords, but I like them. <laughs> so first uh, dropper set 50%, so stone sword and non-stackable item, uh, and st stackable item of course, then stone sword, stackable item, and another stackable item, and for the last one, again, a stone sword, and two stackable items. It doesn't really matter what items they are. Then we simply connect up these two lines here. And yeah, that's basically everything you want to do. And that's basically everything done except the mechanism which wins us the prize. So if we throw in a diamond at this point in the tutorial, you should already see some lights going on. And one of the nice things I added here is simply some note blocks here, here and there on the right side. And I also used different materials so that they sound differently. So I used uh, the emerald block on the top 
I used uh, the sand block here, so just place a different block here that the sand doesn't um, fall down. And for the last one, I think I got just stone or andesite or any type of stone. So we have here the drum, here the snare, and here kind of this funky old school um, Game Boy or game console sound. So the last thing we want to add is the line where we can win actually the prize. So it's basically just go to the first torch, remove the floor there and go all the way to this torch. Blocks, redstone on top of them. They should be powered, of course, this line. Run it into a redstone torch. Uh, block up one block and another redstone torch here. And I don't, now we don't need that. Um, yeah, just block up one block here. Block over like that. And then simply run everything. This repeater powers that block, which powers this dropper. And we basically can block down from here on. And connect everything up like this. Um, maybe you want to add another row of blocks here because I saw something. Remove the supporting blocks. And so don't uh, run into issues with this, this torch here. So just do it like that. Then you're on the safe side. Connect everything up with redstone. And the last step is basically just to try it out and give it a try. Nice. I want to play again. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's 5% chance of winning, uh, as I explained, so it's not that likely that you win. It's around every 20th diamond that you will uh, lose a creeper head. And what we want to do here as the last step is just put in here some note blocks and maybe give them a different tone like this. So if we actually win and all those um, basically lines would unpower and I will just uh, represent it by removing all the losing items or all the items that makes you lose. So just leaving the stone swords. So we have 100% chance of winning now. And if I grab myself a button and just power the casino, we can see that this line is shortly powered and just wins us the creeper head in the front. And of course, yeah, I have to now restore the odds. So one item here, two items there and two items there. So now if we play again, everything should be normal. And yeah, that's basically the tutorial. I hope, of course, as always, you liked what you watched. And if you did so, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel for more like casino content, building tips content, and many more different redstone machines. Um, as always, there's a video in the video description. There's a link where the world download is available for you. So you can simply download this world here and play around with the casino. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. See you. Bye bye.